Hey, what is up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be my first update video of the year. And uh, most of the albums I've bought are on CD, although I have two records. And uh, let's get started. So the first two are Kraftwerk albums, 2009 remasters of Computer World and Techno Pop. Computer World. I consider this to be uh, as a classic as Trans Europe Express and The Man Machine. And, um, you know, there's just so many great things to talk about this album, as much as the uh, two predecessors uh, before Computer World. I do love the title track, Pocket Calculator, which is my favourite on here. Numbers, I love as much. Uh, as the others, you know, Computer Love, um, Home Computer. It's uh, quite a short album, but uh, I think this is the last classic Kraftwerk album, and I love this cover so much. Um, Techno Pop. Techno Pop is actually uh, the original title for this album, but uh, somehow there were uh, some times of. Um, the development of the album to be, you know, um, that difficult, that the album was released as Electric Cafe. Uh, Kraftwerk uh, were having, you know, really hard times during the development of this album. And when it came out, it was a flop, which surprised me. Uh, obviously, this is not as strong as Computer World. It is a good album. There are some songs I do enjoy, like Boing Boom Jack. Music Nonstop, The Telephone Call, uh, which is the only track that uh, Carl Bartos uh, does lead vocals for, uh, and Electric Cafe. The album as a whole, though, is uh, really bland and lackluster at places. Uh, the track that I'm not keen on is Sex Object, which is at the moment my least favorite Kraftwerk song. Techno Pop, the title track, drags on for. Uh, uh, close to eight minutes. It is really repetitive, and uh, this is still a good album. Um, I listen to this album a couple of times occasionally because, uh, you know, I think it is a really enjoyable album. Um, I'm quite shocked that this is, you know, that underrated. But uh, let me know what you think of Kraftwerk. Um, now this next one, uh, I've been thinking about buying uh, movie soundtracks on CD, and if I see some of them on vinyl, I have to pick them up. Obviously, I've been thinking about uh, collecting these uh, soundtracks to one of my favourite movies of all time, uh, like Taxi Driver, The Godfather, and Silence of the Lambs. But here's one soundtrack from a movie that's very iconic. And uh, it's just a uh, landmark movie in uh, Clint Eastwood's career. Same with uh, the director of this movie, uh, Sergio Leone. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly. You know, what can be said about uh, the music to this? You know, it's a really good remaster. I've been listening to this um, not all the way through at the moment, but from what I've been hearing... From this um, original motion picture soundtrack, it sounds really good. So that is that. Mastodon, with their debut album, Remission, uh, via Relapse Records. Very neat packaging, and the uh, the horse is uh, embossed, as you can see. It comes with this uh, little sticker of the album. I believe it's a, it's a sticker. I think so. Uh, the CD is in there, and... Uh, I do love the artwork that Mastodon uh, have been using from their albums. Uh, it features uh, different pieces of artwork and the lyrics to these songs that have been on the album. So, yeah. Uh, it's been a very long while since I've listened to these guys. And they're one of my all-time favourite metal bands. Um, so, yeah, that is Remission by Mastodon. Rammstein Live aus Berlin. Uh, Volker Ball is fantastic. I really need to get that at some point, but I I haven't heard this one yet. 
this was the era before uh, Mutter came out. And uh, it's been a long time since I've listened to Rammstein as well. Because um, they were my favourite German band uh, before Kraftwerk became my new favourite German band. But yeah, that's Rammstein. Another album from a legendary German band, Tangerine Dream. Uh, Encore Tangerine Dream Live 1977. This is a very good live album. Um, I think Logos Live is a bit of a stronger album than this, in my opinion. But there are some uh, very nice, sweet elements of the ambient music and proggy electronic stuff on here. And there's even some uh, lead guitar work on the track uh, Cold Water Canyon, which I really enjoyed. So that is Tangerine Dream. Neil Young, Peace Trail. Uh, this is a very mediocre album. I was expecting uh, something, you know, much more better for this album. But i got to say that The Monsanto Years is a better album, even though that album received tons of mixed reviews and controversy and some hatred. But, um, excuse me, I was a little bit disappointed with this album. There are a couple of tracks that I do like, but um, the other tracks me just don't really fit for me they are just uh, a bit uh, uninteresting and sounding uh, unfinished but lyrically is very interesting it's still aggressive and politically charged you know because that's the direction that Neil Young still wants to continue um, for his career but uh, I'm surprised that this got mixed reviews and uh, I wanted to buy it because I'm a big Neil Young fan myself, but uh, maybe this album will grow on me. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So that is Peace Trail by Neil Young. Now the last two are the records. Brian Eno, Reflection. You can't really see Brian very well. Well, just a tiny bit. It's a very dark picture. Uh, it's a one-track album. That's 54 minutes. And uh, this is a very nice sounding um, laid back, quiet, um, atmospheric type ambient album. But uh, what annoyed me about the vinyl release of this album, uh, it should have been released as a single album because uh, it's one track named Reflection that's 54 minutes long, a 54 minute album. And uh, I've been thinking about, uh, you know, really long tracks on some albums, you know, like. Some prog rock albums have tracks that are more than 20 or 25 minutes, and some jazz records have that same type of situation of track uh, track lengths that are more than 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, I wish that Reflection on vinyl uh, should have been released as a single album, like the first half would be half an hour and the last half would be uh, the last uh, 24 four minutes of the album so I was a bit annoyed that this was released as a double album because I was trying to you know really enjoy the uh, the mood and the vibe of listening to this album but uh, I had to you know keep swapping the sides on both of these double albums and they, it just spoils the experience for me I don't know so that uh, disappointed me but anyways, uh, the album as a whole, as I said, it's, um, you know, quiet, it's very nice, and uh, it's just, you know, laid back. It comes with a little piece of paper, uh, and my index finger is covering the code, uh, because I'm not going to show you guys it, because uh, this is the, the code to download the album for free um, on your laptop or PC, whatever. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of Reflection by Brian Eno. And uh, I really enjoyed it, despite it that uh, uh, a one-track album is released as a double album, which is, you know, surprising, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I've been really digging Brian Eno's stuff a lot more. I absolutely adore uh, Music for Airports. Another Green World is fantastic, and his debut album's the same too, uh, Here Come the Warm Jets. Uh, 
So I am going to check out um, Eno's stuff with uh, Robert Fripp, uh, because I've heard very good things about that. And um, I'm going to check out his stuff that he did with uh, Talking Heads. So yeah, that is Reflection by Brian Eno. And the last record is Kraftwerk once again, Techno Pop, um, 2009 remaster, um, like the remaster of Radioactivity and the uh, other remasters of their discography that have been released in that year. It comes with the uh, big booklet of the artwork, like the um, uh, the remastered albums on the CD uh, the same year and the uh, the record itself is just um, standard black but uh, you know let me know what you think of uh, some of these albums uh, for this update and uh, you know if you want to get into um, craft work I really do recommend uh, Autobahn, which is one of my personal favourites, and also uh, Trans Europe Express and The Man Machine. But uh, yeah, so that is it, guys. That is all I got for this update. And uh, let's just see uh, what the next update will bring for me. Uh, and uh, I think after this video will be part two of my vinyl collection because it's been almost a year uh, since the last one was posted or the uh, video of the free records and the free 45s that I got for my collection. Anyway, I'm going to stop because I've been rambling on for 12 minutes. Thank you guys for watching and I will keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.